Hello guys, it's me Imad from Nelson Darwin Park Tech YouTube channel. In this simulation tutorial, we will work on a simple circuit that is simply called as the time delay circuit or in other words called as the timer circuit. So it is basically a circuit that can be used for to create a time delay for the showing of the output. Like if you want to light an LED then and also want that LED must have to be light up after 10 minutes so you can use this circuit. So uh, we are not going to use any sort of controller here. We will just make it by triple five timer IC. So first right here triple five. Okay. And one more thing about triple five that it can work in three modes. When it is used for timer, etc., we can say that it is in the mono stable mode. And if it is used for the blinking of LEDs, then we can say that it is under the A stable mode. So here we will use it in the mono stable mode. Okay. So let's start. First, you need to connect the pin number 4, that is, you can see here, you must need to connect it with the pin number 8 of the IC. Okay. And pin number 7 with the pin number 6 of the IC. Okay, after, after you have done this, go and take one quarter watt. And 10k resistor so just change it to 10k and you will see it here after 10k resistor just take one push button and attach this push button with the pin number 2 of triple 5 timer and the other end must be connected with the 10k resistors the 10k resistors other end must be with the power of the with the power pin of the triple five. Okay, now after it we need to take our second most important component that is the RC sorry the capacitor and that is the and here it is the electrolytic capacitor which is the form of polar capacitors here you can see this white line or this white uh, strip so uh, this is showing that it's this pin out is negative and the other pin out is positive so negative of the capacitor must be connected with the pin number one of the IC which is already declared as ground and positive with the pin number 6 of the yeah this okay also note down that this capacitor value must be at least 1000 farad you must uh, need to put it up okay now take one led And it is it will show us our output. So also take one resistor and resistor must be not more than 220 ohm. Why it is so? Because you need to reduce the current which is flowing towards the LED. So just go and connect the cathode of the LED with the pin number 3 and pin number 3 is our output so just do it and anode of the LED must be connected with that of the VCCR 9 volt of the triple 5 timer so here we will connect it like this one okay okay so this is our circuit and the last component is our potentiometer okay we will break our circuit some bit here 
so that we can attach our potentiometer properly okay the first terminal must be attached with the uh, power or VCC pin and the other two wiper and terminal 2 must be shot out and then they need to be connected with the pin number 7 pin number 7 okay and also sh make sure that this is must be at least 45 kilo ohm okay so okay now we need to start our simulation and we will see that what will happen okay one more thing that we forgot to put the battery so we will take this battery okay negative and with the with the with we, we can say that we, we can connect it with the, the negative pin of the electrolytic capacitor and positive pin with the with the pin number eight we can we can connect directly okay no more problem for us okay so or we we can do one thing that we can rather than making so much long wire we can connect it with this anode of the led because it is also going to the triple five timer vcc so it is our circuit now we will start our simulation and okay now Okay, now we will press our push button. Okay, wait. Okay, one one more problem that we we don't have connected this uh, terminal terminal one with the capacitors negative and so 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 it it must be connected with this. Okay, this is also very important for discharging of capacitor so okay now now we will run it okay now after some time we will see that our led will light up okay, we can control the delay with the, with this potentiometer okay okay now now we will press this button for reset okay now it is reset now wait for some time and after some time we will see that our led will be light up okay now you can see it is light up but delay is less so in order to increase the delay we, we can just rotate the knob of the potentiometer to get the higher resistance value okay now okay now after pressing the button the led is off and now we will see some more time delay now you can see that it uh, almost uh, by 30 seconds so hopefully you got the concept regarding the timer simulation within the tinker kit so thanks for visiting our channel